Kim LeMasters came to us and said he was, he was thinking about Beauty and the Beast as a series. Kim was uh, obviously running the program at, at CBS at the time. And uh, we jumped at that. We loved that idea. They do that a lot, the network execs. They kind of float that idea out to several people. And, and uh, you know, they're, they're the, the companies that they like to work with. And somebody comes back or doesn't come back with it. Kim knew our long form stuff. We had done a lot of dramatic long form. Between Spelling Goldberg stuff and our stuff at Danny Towns Productions, we had done like 15, 17 movies for television. Uh, so, um, he knew that, and he knew our background, so uh, it wasn't a big stretch, and we jumped at it. And Ron Koslow, who created that, did a brilliant job. I mean, he wrote some poetry. And we, uh, we got very lucky uh, with our cinematographer and, and others uh, uh, to really create a whole world of, uh, of mystery that and, and hadn't been on television before. Linda Hamilton and Ron Perlman? Well, Ron, you know, was... First of all, he's a very good actor, Shakespearean trained and everything. Uh, he it was just a tremendous act, actor, and uh, he embraced that role uh, wonderfully and committed to the, you know, I mean, he had to get up at several hours before his call to get that kind of makeup on, and, and that just wasn't a little thing he pulled over his head. I mean, that was a lot of trouble. And uh, he loved the part, and we loved it, and, and uh, he just sold it. You looked into his eyes, and there was no, there was no beast. There was, there was a, a man you wanted to, to embrace and care for. And Linda, Linda played it perfectly, and we were very lucky to have her. And, and uh, she just did a terrific job. Uh, made a very compelling team together for the love story, and and uh, sold it. It was, uh, it was a very popular show for a while. I mean, it was, in, it was in the times when numbers were slipping in general, you know, when a 20-something uh, share was a good, good, solid audience, which is what we were getting, and, uh, and had a very loyal following. I think there's still a loyal following. I mean, there, there are tons of, uh, of uh, sites on the Internet about Beauty and the Beast, or several sites, I should say, and uh, I, I believe they still have conventions. So we have our little cult following.